if we don't turn the corner we're not gonna know what's there to discover so well worth the effort but look at that beautiful view good morning lovely people we are going to Death Valley I have never been here finally decided today is the day I was supposed to leave at 6 a.m. but there was a 45 minute delay it is just past 7 and we are on the outskirts of Las Vegas on highway 160 so the first stop is going to be we are going to gas up in Parang which is 54 miles so I have another 39 miles to go just beautiful you know once you get out of Vegas it is just amazing I still tell you all Nevada outside of Vegas has some of the best riding for motorcycles here we are in Param time to gas up and then we're gonna get out of Dodge look at casinos in Param all right so let's do this off we go On the way to Shoshon, the road to Shoshon. Absolutely fantastic. This is living. We are six and a half miles from Shoshon. The landscape is changing dramatically. Just stupendous. This is completely different. All oh, the colors. Quick, so we are in Shushan. So we're gonna gas up again because you know, scout tank capacity. So we got to make sure we're always topped off because once after this, the next gas station is going to be in Furnace Creek inside Death Valley National Park. Stop, obey rules, that's how you're safe. This is quaint, really nice. So there's the market. So we're going to, I don't know, it's like maybe half a gallon I need. But it's always good to be topped up. So there's a Shushan Inn. There's a museum. There's a nice cafe saloon. So probably have your breakfast if you come here. You know, there's a market, post office. And the two, four station, petrol station. It's really pretty here. So let's get out of Shoshone head north and then we're gonna go west into death valley the fun times let's do this This is, I think, starting to be one of my better rides. Death Valley Junction, 26 miles. But that is if you come from Param from the other side. So we're not gonna go there. We are gonna go to Basin Water. Look at that, 
there's crops. That tastes like barley. I was really not expecting this in the desert. I mean, is this really farming or is this just wild grass here? Oh, must be. No, it looks like it's crop. I kept saying basin water, it's bad water. My bad. Ignore my errors in my state of enthusiasm. So, all right, bad water. 55. Say that's why we need gas. Next service is 72 miles. So, that's why you gas up in Shoshone because you get 100 miles on this tank. 120. So, 72. We are good. We are good. We are not going to be stranded. Death Valley boundary. Bad water, 55, visitor center, 72. Woohoo! Let's do this! Oh, let's go! Zoom, zoom! All right, so d did you guys drive down from Canada? Yeah, yeah, they came over. Rain on. The same thing on a weekend tour here or what? Yeah, like, you know, uh, I don't like to come on the weekends because too many people. So I thought, you know, before it starts to get too hot, yeah. uh, I was like, yeah, because I've been wanting to come here for the past two years, but I keep missing the window. You know, it's going to get too hot. You cannot. No, that's why we, I mean, in, in Yosemite, it was too cold. We had snow, they had the road closed, the 120. Yeah. And down here, I said, uh, well, we are only maybe in the 40s already, right? Uh, in Centigrade, right? Yeah, yep. I used to have a Triumph we are in, in Austria. Yeah, I have a Triumph. That's my city bike. I have a T120 Bonneville. Uh, I don't, I don't, well, yeah, I don't. yeah, it's more, it's a cafe race. I've made it into a cafe racer, so I ride that in the city. But oh, this is a nice cruiser to... Oh, yeah, that's a good, yeah. yeah. I, I don't, well, I didn't buy me a, 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 a motorbike in Canada anymore. We came over in 67. Right. And everything is straight here, that's it, forget it. California is so bad here, you have some curves in there. But otherwise you fall asleep on the bike. <laughs> yeah. Your offer, since you were nice enough to offer uh, to take a picture, and since you've stopped, would you mind taking a picture of the two of us? Yes, that's what I offered the... <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, yeah. Because, you know, you two need one together, yeah. you know? It would be my pleasure. This is the beauty of coming on a weekday. Not a lot of people. The roads are quite empty. It's like I have reserved this just for myself, privately. Death Valley is closed to the public today. It's just for me. Look at this. You own it for miles. Not a single motorcycle, not a single car. Ha ha! Next eight miles. We're going down, that's right. That is 250 feet below sea level to bad water. There are no people here, there's no traffic, no vehicular activity. It's because this is the backside. You know, uh, because everybody goes through the Death Valley Junction into so I'm coming from Shushan from the backside. So which is perfect. There's absolutely nobody here. 
But literally, I've been driving now for the last 20 miles. Um, I think I saw a car pass me by. Other than that, look at this. I got all of this to myself. are cracked look at my camera is like all uh, it won't even stay up yeah not the best of roads here even though it's nicely paved there's a lot of cracks in the road perhaps to the high heat but the vistas are spectacular Let's go! It's bad water. You can see the salt deposits. And here are the mountains. So this is bad water, California. Not the tail of the dragon twisties, but eh, it's fun little twisties. I had to stop here because look at that salt it is so otherworldly it's fantastic oh, I love it my beauty taking me to places unbelievable this is really nice a little bit of green the beautiful hues curving roads what do you think look at that it's so pretty so pretty beautiful we are here at Mormon point look at this salt bed say Mormon point it is pretty desolate look at this but quite beautiful yeah This is officially the bad water stop. I've been driving for the last 30, 40 miles. Oh, it was very monotonous. Just this arid mountains and going around and around and around. Hi. Well, that was 56.7 miles from where? From Shushon. <clears throat> there it is. Badwater Basin. 282 feet. 855 meters below sea level. Boom. So let's walk it. Step on it. With all my gear, it's bloody hot. All right, I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Like I'm on a different planet. This looks like Africa. 
and it got hot pretty quickly the beautiful morning weather is gone it is probably you know in the mid 80s right now oh that breeze feels so good I had to open my leather jacket Ooh. back there I just passed the devil's golf course I think it's overhyped uh, you gotta go off-road it's just a whole bunch of big boulders so I'm gonna pass on that so because I can see small boulders some big boulders so yeah we are going to artist drive next and then the artist palette not the best time of the day to see it so we'll say evenings are supposed to be beautiful so here we go artist drive supposed to be one of the most beautiful roads here in death valley so let's see what it has to offer so yeah you're gonna see artist palette five miles so maybe if there's a campground there i'm gonna have my coffee apparently see all these rats like you know when the sun hits differently in the evening around sunset it is magical so next time i want to spend a night here I do this because this is not too far away from Furnace Creek so yeah so come here for an evening ride and then go back stay at the hotel at the inn it'll be nice Why are people already... Oh, there must be something really nice to see up there. Shall we go see? Well, of course, we have to go see. We have to go see. We have another one of our brothers on a motorcycle. Where is he from? Oh, Canadians, a lot of Canadians here. And my bike unlocked, so keeping faith in humanity that people will do the right thing. So we'll see, let's just go see what's up here. It's a small place. <laughs> we are all going in a loop, you know? It's like life. It'll catch us. I'll see you again somewhere. <laughs> Funny. Whew. And I'm doing this in almost 90 degree weather with my full gear on. Climbing the bloody thing. Let's see if it's worth it. What the hell? I guess not. I thought it would be a deep ravine. Well, there you go. Do some photos. Well, it was not a waste of effort. If we don't turn the corner, we're not gonna know what's there to discover so well worth the effort but look at that beautiful view so people who want to colonize moon i mean mars i guess this is the lifestyle 
no green, no vegetation. Enjoy people. Beautiful, look at that. There's my bike. All good. Hello there. Good, how are you? It is hot, I'm still like trudging up and down. I'm like, whoo! Yeah, thanks. You know, a few of the things that you got to invest right. Yeah. Where are you visiting from? I'm local, I'm from Vegas. Oh, right on. Yeah, I thought. You know, the funny thing is, I've been wanting to do this for the last two years, and every time I miss the window. So, you know. Oh, it's not too hot. oh yeah, it's brutal because next week it's going to be in the hundreds. It's already going to be hundreds by weekend. Yeah, that's super happy. Yep, you are. In fact, yesterday was the best day to be here. Yesterday? Yep. Yesterday I went... <laughs> so, that was Brent from Vancouver, British Columbia. We spoke for like over an hour. I was supposed to get out of here. Amazing guy. I'm gonna go see him there. Shared a lot of information. That's the beauty of riding. You never know who you meet. Look at this. Yeah, absolutely. You want with the bike? Yeah, get both the bikes in if you can. A part of this one, or, or sorry, that one's kind of not in a great spot, so pretend. No, that's why I wanted you to park your bike like this. Yeah, I should have done. Hang on, I will do a couple. Hang on. This is an amazing ride, look at this. Best, best ride. I didn't film all of it, but Artist Drive is spectacular to the canyons. Oh, and now we are back to the bad water flats, and we are gonna go to Furnace Creek. This is the inn at Death Valley. I wanna go check it out. Maybe have a drink there. Then the Furnace Creek is on that side. Until three o'clock? You get drinks at the pool, but that's outside. Like, Yo, I want to be air conditioned, hot out. Yeah. Nice, well, they have another place down, so. That's what she says, because everybody goes to the ranch. So. Uh, let's try the ranch. Here at the ranch. It 
is beautiful here. Too. That's the beauty of riding. You never know who you're gonna meet, where friendships will lead. It's a small world. Get out on the road, make friends, ride, and have a cold one. Salute. Look at me all the map because. Um, you can oh. do that. Yes, you can if you're outside <laughs> the park. Okay. Is it a We'll bring it into Canada. I had my whole half. So we had our beers, we had a beer and a half with Brad, but I told him I'm just gonna, I have an antidote for him for the beer. So let me show you. Hot coffee. <laughs> you have blueberry banana and apple blueberry cakes. That hits the Very spot, good. doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Look at that. Walnuts, we have our coffee. own picnic at the ranch at Death Valley on the motorcycles. Does life get any better than that? That's the beauty being on two wheels. Make friends, break some bread and create memories. So it's almost, uh, it's 3.15. So the day slipped away. So look at this. Um, I'm gonna go to Mesquite Sand Dunes I really wanted to go to Real Light, but I'm going to turn back because I want to go to Dante's Peak. So it is so hot right now. It's 92. This is Death Valley. I'm so glad because in a week or two, you can't ride your motorcycle here. Let's go to Mesquite Sand Dunes. Mesquite Sand Dunes. I hope it is worth it. Yeah, let's go. Nothing but open road, people. Nothing but open road. Oh, look at that. It is beautiful. I can see it was worth it to come here. Can you guys see it? I gotta keep my eyes on the road. Sand dunes, baby. Let's do this. Yes, it was a boring ride. Almost 23 miles from Furnace Creek. Just flat land. But look at this. It's pretty. I just need a camel to ride the dunes. There it is. I need to get out of my gear. It is bloody hot. But we gotta go walk it. We have to go walk in the sand. just left the sand dunes it was pretty awesome met a lot of germans who were so interested in the bike they were just asking a ton of questions and taking photos and videos so this bike gets a lot of attention so especially from people who are not from the u.s right so uh we're done with that uh it is almost 4 30. i have to i have 25 miles back to furnace creek and 
I have to say if I have time to go to Dante's Peak. Look at this, nothing, just flat lands. We are at sea level, so this is sea level. It is hot, it is baking. It's just hot air rushing through you. So again, here's my advice. Plan your trip accordingly, even though this is like the best time. So probably two weeks before was the best time, but next week you can't. You can't ride a motorcycle here. It is probably around 92, 95 right now. And it's the hottest part of the day from four to six so <clears throat> just fueled up in furnace creek it's a highway robbery almost seven bucks a gallon uh, i'm gonna go from here to zabriskie point so i think that is one more stop and then it is homebound to vegas so let's do this on to Zabriskie Point 190 to Death Valley Junction and Zabriskie Point is on the way look at these formations yeah pretty cool this would have been absolutely the most perfect trip if it was not this hot it is just too hot you just cook in your gear doesn't matter even when you're riding there's no cool air it's like standing in front of an oven I'm hoping it'll cool you down so but can't complain i'm on my motorcycle this is absolutely fantastic yeah look at this here is subrisky point pretty cool yeah the landscape is just Look at that. I wonder if you can ride up there. Huh, I wonder if motorcycles are allowed up here. Apparently, there's a great view from up there, but no way am I going to walk in all my gear up that steep hill in this heat so gotta come back again when cooler climate prevails so as i continue to gain elevation outside of that valley the ride is so much pleasant with the elevation the temperature drops and the roads are absolutely perfect so this is the other way around so i'm going towards death valley junction on 190 so yeah beautiful beautiful afternoon riding fantastic death valley junction behind me so i just crossed the california border into nevada 30 miles of this just flat land all the way to Parham. I have 88 miles to Vegas. Nothing interesting, just good roads on your bike. Just ride, open it up, go as fast as you can. Don't get caught. beautiful right now it's six o'clock in the evening 
almost 12 hours I've been riding. It is so pleasant. So I want to do a proper, you know, ending to the trip. For some reason, this GoPro got stuck. But uh, however, back home, and it took 13 hours. It's now almost 7, or it's 7.15 in the evening. The sun's going down. So there you have it. So 321 miles. Uh, that's what we did all day. Six and a half hours in the saddle and there are another six hours, you know, goofing around and taking pictures and having a drink and all of that stuff. But it was absolutely fantastic. So overall, uh, Death Valley for me, I will rate it around seven and a half. So it is, it's a long one, you know, 320 miles. So if you're starting from the center of the city, around 330. So there you go, until next time. So, you know, we'll do another ride. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again.